Today, I'm going to talk about uh, the study entitled Difference in, in the Incidence and Trend of Lymphoma, especially peripheral tissue lymphoma and adult tissue leukemia in Japan and the United States by the analysis uh, using population-based cancer registry data. So uh, the incidence of malignant disease may reflect genetic susceptibility, uh, cumulative exposure to environment under a combination over time. Therefore, the evaluation of the difference in incidence and trends in uh, different countries would be helpful in understanding etiology and nature of disease. So as all of you know, T cell lymphoma is a heterogeneous disease. Uh, former uh, studies have reported that Asian countries have higher proportion of T cell lymphoma uh, within all lymphoma. So based on uh, introduction in uh, T cell lymphoma project, international P T cell lymphoma project, uh, fearful T cell lymphoma accounts for five to 10 percent of all non-Hodgkin lymphoma in Western countries and uh, accounts for 15 to 20 percent of all lymphoma in Asian countries. So they described about the proportion of the T cell lymphoma and haven't described about uh, actual incidence of T cell lymphoma. But I think these information across the studies was somewhat confusing to the readers. I heard that many people believe that the actual incidence of T cell lymphoma is high in Asian countries. But I think uh, we really need to think about what the numerator and what the denominator is in such kind of information. So uh, the, we, uh, the question we raised was, is the uh, incidence of T cell lymphoma really high in Asian countries? So actually the incidence of uh, peripheral T cell lymphoma in Asian population living in the United States was evaluated by Dr. Lindsay Morton and her colleagues. As you can see here in this figure, uh, the incidence of peripheral T cell lymphoma in Asian population was similar to that of white or African American population. But uh, uh, Asian patients analyzed, analyzed in this study was relatively small and they're now living in the United States. So uh, the actual incidence of T cell lymphoma uh, or in Asian population living in Asian countries haven't been evaluated. So uh, we conducted this study to estimate the incidence and trend of uh, all hematologic malignancies in, in Japan and the United States to evaluate the difference between countries. Um, we used population-based cancer registry data of Japan and the United States. Uh, Japan has its own cancer registry data named MCIJ database, and the United States has uh, the cancer registry data named SHEAR uh, data, um, as you already know from, uh, you already heard from the, the uh, Dr. Shustov. So the period covered in this analysis was 1993 to 2008, an MCIJ project covers 33% of the population in Japan, and SHEAR9 database uh, covers 9% of the population in the United States. Oh, sorry. So the disease was extracted from the database uh, according to ICD-03. Um, we analyzed several different uh, hematologic malignancies as listed here, but today I'm just going to focus on T-cell lymphoma. Incidence was estimated and adjusted with world uh, standard population, reported as cases per 100,000 person year. Trend of uh, incidence was uh, evaluated by joint point regression analysis. The lymphoma cases analyzed in this study uh, was uh, 95,000 in the United States and 60,000 in, uh, in Japan. So the actual incidence of all hematologic malignancies in total uh, in 2008 are summarized in this table. So U.S. male uh, 35, U.S. female 24, Japan male uh, 18, Japan female 12. So basically, uh, male has around 1.5 times higher incidence than female, and the United States has around two times higher incidence of hematologic malignancies than Japan in total. So the incidence rate ratio between the United States and Japan is around two. However, uh, when we look into detail, the incidence rate ratio uh, significantly differs among diseases that uh, CLS showed the highest uh, incidence rate ratio of 21, 
followed by nodular sclerosis Hodgkin lymphoma uh, with incidence rate ratio of around seven. So the lowest uh, incidence rate ratio was uh, seen in acute myeloid leukemia uh, with rate of 1.3. Before we go into the actual instance of T-cell lymphoma, I would like to show you the uh, distribution of the lymphoma cases uh, diagnosed in 2003 to 2008 in both countries. So as you can see here, uh, Japan has a higher proportion of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and much lower uh, proportion of CLL. And we have talked about that uh, T proportion of T-cell lymphoma uh, in Asian countries was higher than uh, the Western countries. And in fact, we have confirmed that the uh, proportion of T cell lymphoma among all lymphoma subtypes was uh, much higher in Japan than the United States. So uh, we now focus on uh, actual incidences in several lymphoma subtypes, uh, T cell lymphoma subtypes. So this figure and tables um, show the incidence and trend of peripheral T cell lymphoma not otherwise specified and angio immunoblastic T cell lymphoma. So the red curve is for the United States and the blue curve is for uh, Japan. As you can see here, uh, both the incidence of both diseases, are, both diseases are very similar between countries with incidence rate ratio of 1.15 and 0.8. So these two, uh, these two uh, figure and tables shows the incidence and trend of anaplastic large cell lymphoma and mycosis fungoides. So these two diseases had a higher incidence, significantly higher incidence in the United States than Japan. Actually, the incidence rate ratio of mycosis fungoides uh, was the second largest uh, rate following CLL. As you can see here in this figure by Dr. Morton, uh, African-American population are more susceptible to mycosis fungoides, and this may attribute it to the difference in incidence uh, between countries. So this uh, figure on tables uh, shows the incidence and trend of NK T cell lymphoma and adult T cell leukemia. So these two diseases are, are the only disease that the Japan showed uh, that Japan had significantly higher incidence than the United States. So the incidence of NK T cell lymphoma uh, was two times higher in Japan than the United States and 14 times higher in adult T cell leukemia. So adult T cell leukemia is a disease associated with HTLV1 infection and is endemic in the uh, southwest part of Japan and several other areas such as Caribbean countries. So we have estimated uh, the trend of adult T cell leukemia in endemic and non-endemic area. In that study, we have found an interesting trend of adult T cell leukemia uh, where the incidence of adult T cell leukemia is plateaued in endemic area, but has been significantly increasing in non-endemic area of Japan and in the United States. So um, there is a data showing uh, that HTLV1 carrier is, uh, is decreasing in endemic area of Japan, but is significantly increasing in the non-endemic metropolitan area in Japan. So these increase in the incidence um, in non-endemic area could possibly due to the um, immigration of HTLV1 carrier from the endemic area, uh, such as uh, southwest part of the Japan and Caribbean countries. But we need to, uh, to interpret this increase uh, with caution since the change in the diagnostic accuracy of adult T cell leukemia over time may have also contributed to this increase in part. So the actual incidence, as, although the uh, incidence of adult um, T-cell adult leukemia in the United States seems to be increasing, the actual incidence of adult T-cell leukemia in the United States is significantly lower than the non-endemic area uh, of Japan. So the non-endemic area of Japan has 
10 times higher incidence than the United States, and endemic area in Japan has 10, uh, 10 times higher incidence than the non-endemic area in Japan. So several limitations should be considered in this study. Um, one is the change in the diagnostic criteria during the study period and uh, improvement in the diagnostic accuracy by the introduction of new technologies. Um, actually, the incidence of each lymphoma subtype are significantly, has, uh, has been significantly increasing in Japan. So this increase is most likely due to the improvement in the diagnostic accuracy and um, increase in the detailed diagnosis in the cancer registry data. And also, the lymphoma not otherwise specified case in registry data in Japan is higher than the United States, suggesting that each lymphoma subtypes, uh, the incidence of each uh, lymphoma subtypes may have been underestimated in Japanese cancer registry data. So in conclusion, the incidence of T cell lymphoma is not higher uh, in Japan than the United States, except for NK T cell lymphoma and adult T cell leukemia. Adult T cell leukemia could be increasing in non-endemic area, um, possibly due to the immigration of HTLV and carrier. Uh, we should re-evaluate uh, these incidents and trend in the future to overcome the limitation of this study. So finally, I would like to thank uh, all collaborators in this research project, especially to Keitaro Matsuo, uh, who is uh, my mentor of uh, epidemiology, and also uh, Dr. Weisenberger and Dr. Morton, who supported me analyzing the SHEAR database. Thank you so much.